Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days, okay? Uh, but you could say uh, it's being recorded November 1st through November 7th, if you really got to have a date. But the timing is fluid, okay? Seven days from the date that you watch it, but it could be at any time in November, you know, because the timing is fluid, so keep that in mind. This card just came up flying out February, so something that happened in February may be coming around right now uh, to be dealt with. That looks like the winds of change, so that's what it looks like to me. Things are about to change, but um, you could also be dealing with somebody that's born in the month of February. Um, February is obviously prominent this week, okay? And I just got chills, so, and that's cold. It looks cold. In February, where I come from is cold. So something about cold. Cold, 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 cold. Um, a younger woman. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. You're going to be dealing with that this week. All right. Maybe this younger woman's born in February. I don't know. So what do we have for Scorpio? Ooh, we could also be dealing with a Taurus. Taurus, bull. What else do we have for Scorpio? Whatever it is, it feels like it's messy. It's messy. Mm, okay. Well. Unfaithful. I'm not sure if somebody is being unfaithful. Somebody could be being unfaithful. I looked on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to flip it because it was upside down. It doesn't really matter. It was a Leo. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with somebody that's born in February. Either way, there's probably somebody that's being unfaithful. Um, I don't know who. What do we have for Scorpio? Now, unfaithful is doesn't have to be uh, in a sexual manner. It's basically cheating. I mean, that's something. That, I mean, that could be in a sexual manner. Um, it's a thing called emotional cheating or cheating. Period. It could be like cheating on anything. Okay, it could be cheating on a test, cheating on you know, uh, vote. <laughs> what else do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got for Scorpio? Five of Cups reversed. So, first card out is the Five of Cups reversed. Hero font reversed. Both fives. Fives are card numbers of change. Your life is about to change. A change is coming. There's, there's. This is a disgrace. Five of uh, Hero font reversed is somebody that's under a lot of social pressure, that is having a hard time doing the right thing because of society. This is a disgrace. It is a disgrace. This is an abuse. It's an abuse of power. So I don't know. So you could definitely be dealing with a Taurus. I'm not sure. Um, but there's grieving. There's been a prolonged grief, prolonged grief, beginning to realize the truth. Somebody, I don't know if somebody's broken the law. Uh, with the hero font reversed, this is maybe it's a maybe it's a universal law. I'm not sure. It's just what I heard. Um, lack of faith, uh, doesn't believe, doesn't believe, doesn't believe, doesn't believe in God, doesn't believe in a higher power. Thinks that they can get away with it. Five of Cups reversed, beginning to realize the truth, uh, focusing on the future, beginning to see that there's another option, uh, leaving the past behind. We have a relationship that is not on the same page. There could be an upcoming separation. I just got to be honest, okay? And then we have that unfaithful card. So I'm wonder. I don't know what is going on here. Um, we definitely have an arrogant individual with the with the hero font reverse. Could have something to do with a father or a father figure. Um, not very spiritual. Poor counsel. Somebody may have received poor counsel. Um, we got the Ten of Wands below you. Uh, the past is justice. Seven of Pentacles right now. Uh, King of Cups in the, reversed in the future. Uh, Page of Wands reversed. Two of Pentacles. 
Eight of Wands and Temperance. So things are definitely about to change. There's going to be a change, okay? This is a card of purpose. It is a card of reason. That is your overall outcome. So this is life changing. It absolutely is life changing, okay? Because it comes after death, okay? And death is on the bottom of the deck. So something is coming to an end and you will have to accept it. You will have to go with the flow, okay? This is a major ending. It's a profound life change. This is accepting, okay? Accepting that something is over. This is a card of managing feelings. This is a card of transformation. So I believe that what you don't see coming as an ending or you didn't see coming as an ending, okay, this is a transition. It's a major life change. Ooh, just went up flying right out the card. I guess I gotta take that one as well. And the way that it fell out, okay, this is, it's weird how it fell out. It fell out like this judgment so this is big it is a life change it's a major life change your life is about to change holding on is getting old this is this could even be like a near-death experience it could be a death a, a, and I mean and I when I say death I mean it's a major transformation okay there's no doubt about it there is that just jumped right out it flew right it dropped it dropped right out of the deck I mean I it is what it is so it happened all of a sudden it was just, just happened, okay? So pay attention, every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. So your life is about to change. Your life is about to change. The overall outcome is temperance. It's a card of managing feelings, going with the flow, accepting. Now, when we have judgment and death both together, that is a major ending, okay? So you are going, and no, it hasn't happened yet, okay? Because this is a future reading. It's not a past reading. So... I feel like uh, karma, karma. We got judgment and we have justice. So there's some sort of karma that is coming, maybe something that was done in February, I don't know, or somebody that was, de you're dealing with somebody that was born in February. Could also be dealing with a Pisces or a uh, Aquarius. Um, we have Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus, Sagittarius, um, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? I feel like right now somebody has had a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. There's been a lot of grieving. There's been a lot of sadness. There's been a lot of wallowing. Yeah, I just got to be honest. Five of Cups, reverse, that's prolonged grief, okay? I feel like there's everything has turned out or it's going to turn out as it should. Karma never loses an address. Now, maybe somebody that hurt you is getting karma, that was unfaithful to you is getting karma. I feel like somebody that was unfaithful, that cheated, however they cheated, is about to get some karma. Um, it's like they tried to take justice into their own hands. And that's cheating, okay? God had, makes that call. The higher power makes that call. Not any person on this planet makes that call. Only God makes that judgment call, okay? So I feel like we have somebody here that has abused their power, okay? They've abused their power and they've tried to take justice into their own hands. Um, seven of Pentacles. There may be a relocation in the near future. Somebody may be, the season is over, the time is up. You've gotten all that you can get. The time is up. Whether it's you or them, somebody's time is up. And it is time. This is a card of timing. Temperance is a card of timing. Um, emotions may be all over the place. King of Cups reverse. I feel like we, we have somebody here that did not have good intentions. Um, they may be emotionally withdrawn. Or they didn't act with their heart. They didn't follow their heart. They may have received some poor counsel. There's poor counsel right next to it. Poor counsel. Um, they didn't care who they hurt. Now there's some sort of karma that is coming. Um, the focus, overwhelmed, overwhelmed, too much, too much. This is too much. Right now, this is this is the basis, the basis of what's going on. We have somebody here that I feel like has has tried really hard to obtain success. They've bitten off more than they can chew. This is a heavy burden. It's a heavy weight. Too many responsibilities. This is too much. Too many demands. Uh, holding on. And, I, and I, with the death card reverse, is holding on is getting old. Somebody, I feel like we have somebody here that has been has too much. This is too much. It's, it's too much. It's too much to handle. Um, 
carrying, carrying a heavy weight, carrying a lot, carrying a heavy burden. Maybe you're carrying, maybe you've been holding on to something that you need to let go of. Perhaps it's time to reinvest. It's time to invest in new territory. I feel like you've obtained success. You've worked really, really hard to obtain success, but I feel like uh, it's time to go someplace else. It's time to invest in someplace else. I feel like you um, are dealing with an individual that does not have good intentions for you. Maybe another water sign could also be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very self-centered, conceited, uh, socially driven. This person may have given you poor counsel or they led you down the wrong path. Uh, they're not actually very spiritual. They're not really committed. They're not really committed to you, okay? This person is unfaithful. They they are very cocky, very smug. They, they break the law. This is somebody that has no uh, consequences. They don't see any consequences for their actions. They just continue to do the same things over and over and over again. Um, I believe that, and this person is is so, is so successful in, in doing what they do that most people don't see it, okay? And somehow you're caught up in this situation. Could be your partner, I'm not sure. We could have the end of a commitment here. I'm not sure if somebody is doing something while they are at work and they've been getting away with it and that comes out, that could certainly be the case. Uh, I feel like somebody has been, I feel, what I want to say is cheating at work. You know, I don't know how that resonates for you and, and how the cheating would be, but doing something that they shouldn't be doing while they're at work, okay? This may be money related. Um, Page of Wands reversed in your advice. This is like, you know, I mean, you're going to have to remain in control. Do not lose your temper, okay? I feel like you're dealing with somebody that uh, doesn't have anything good to say. Maybe they always put you down. My advice to you is to not do anything. Don't do anything. Don't give, don't give them your energy. They, it feels like you're dealing with an energy thief. They try to confuse you. Um, they try to make you angry. They poke you. You're dealing with somebody that acts like a child, that is very immature, that tries to poke you a lot. My advice to you is to not do anything. This person's going to have a fall. They're going to have a fall from power. Somebody is about to have a fall from power. They're bite, they have definitely bitten off more than they can chew. Um... And I feel like there's a message or messages that are coming that is going to reveal something. There's definitely going to be a change. Um, somebody could even end up in court. I feel like there's court or there's somehow court is related because we had judgment and we have justice. So there's some sort of, a, or there could be news of legalities that are coming up. Somebody may end up in court. Something, maybe something that happened in February is coming to be dealt with now. Um, somebody may be dealing with an individual that is angry or upset for being rejected. This is somebody that throws a fit, that uh, tattles, a tattletale. We may have a tattletale here tail here that uh, gets involved because they got rejected or they got shunned or something like that. This person gets involved and causes an uproar, um, causes chaos. Above that is the two of pentacles, which is chaos, okay? I feel like there's a geometric power that is realigning you down the path that you are meant to go down. Get prepared for things to change. And I think that things are going to change really, really fast. This is meant to happen. I feel like you're holding on to a dead end. Okay, you're holding on to a dead end situation. Um, and I hate to say that. I'm sorry. But I feel like you're in a situation with an individual that is abusive. And I don't know if it's a father figure or somebody that is just very socially driven. This person, um, it's a disgrace. There's some sort of disgrace here. There could be even some public embarrassment. And I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that um, I don't know. I don't know. I've, I don't know. There's some sort of public embarrassment. I wanted to say, and I hate to say this during a reading, but it. I just looked at this and I looked at this younger woman <laughs> and I know a lot of you aren't going to like this, okay, but it's dirty. I, I thought of a, I thought of a blow job. So I don't know if somebody in an unfaithful card is right next to it. So I'm wondering if somebody, something to do with that, okay, so I'm not sure what, if something, that's what just came out, okay. That's what just came into my head when I, I looked down and I saw that and I, and my, and that's what came into my head. 
So I'm not sure if somebody has done something like that and it gets revealed. I mean, you definitely have somebody here that is angry, that is upset, and it doesn't have to be that. I'm not sure what it is. I feel like you have somebody here that is gonna say something. This is a troublemaker. I think there's some unwelcome news that is coming. And I feel like the unwelcome news is coming from a fire sign for, for not getting a attention. Fire signs need to have attention. When they don't get attention, they'll, they'll do anything, even if it's negative attention, to get attention. So if this person has been rejected in any way, they may say something to get attention, okay? So I feel like there is somebody here that is going to be um, saying something. They're gonna re be revealing some sort of truth. If it's about you or somebody that you live with that has abused their power or has done something unfaithful, it's about to be revealed, okay? And it's gonna cause chaos. Um, I do feel like you are uh, going through some sort of transition. You're going through some sort of transformation in your, right now in your life. You're about to uh, experience, obviously, an ending because we had the death and the judgment and the temperance card. You're, and, and no, it hasn't happened yet, okay? Just so you know, it hasn't happened yet. There's been a delay. There's been a delay. Um, you're going to need to manage your feelings. You're going to need to find the self-discipline to change. That's what temperance is about, to accept, to accept the truth. Judge, ju justice is about truth. So, you know, if it has happened, maybe this is where you, I don't think it has, but maybe, but maybe. I, if so, you have to accept about who you're dealing with. You have to accept the truth. You have to accept it. You have to accept um, there's something in messages, okay? There's going to be some sort of messages that are revealed, whether it's emails or messages or texts or messenger. There's something that's going to be, be revealed that changes your circumstances, okay? It's going to change your circumstances. Um, whoever you're dealing with, uh, likes to play games. This person is a player. They, they love to play games. They're, they're juggling. They're juggling. They're going back and forth and they're juggling. They're juggling two options, whoever you're dealing with. Um, this person has no, has no emotional availability. They don't care who they hurt. Okay. Their heart is closed off. Okay. So as long as they're getting attention, that's all that matters. Okay, so this person may speak love or they say all the right words, but words are one thing, actions are another. This person's actions are not nice. Okay, they're not, this is not a good person that you're dealing with. Um, temperance, temperance, a need to be patient, a need to cooperate, a need to allow, allow and accept that, that something is over. Something is over. Something is over. So yeah, you're going to be experiencing something that is over, that's ending in your life. Um, hmm. Let's clarify the temperance card reversed. I got the queen of swords reversed and the four of cups reversed. There is a woman here that is going to cause havoc. Okay, this woman is going, and I can see it with the younger woman. There's some, there's, and the winds of change are blowing. So just be ready for it. This person uh, is going to be saying something. Okay, she's going to be saying something. Um, she's upset. She wants the offer. She wants. She was rejected. She was rejected in some way, or she was shunned. She was turned down. She wants it. She's upset. She's pissed. She's the one that's going to cause the problems. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Sagittarius, or an Aries, or a Leo. This person is very interested um, in speaking up, telling the truth. She's going to be saying, could also be a Taurus. You have a Taurus. Yeah, this person is pissed, bitter, revengeful, angry. Um, she has some sort of information that changes everything, and she is going to be speaking up. This could even be somebody that is taking somebody to court. They're taking, they're, they, they are. You know, I'm not sure what is going on, but I feel like, you know, this person, maybe she's short on money, you know what I mean? And she's taking somebody to court. Um, there is all, and, and that may not be it. This woman may also be the one that's cheating. Maybe she's cheating. She's bitter. She's cold. She's harsh. She's taking another opportunity. I mean, that four of cups reverse is seizing a new opportunity. This person, like I said, does not care who they hurt. 
Okay, so there is, there's some sort of exchange that is going on right now. There is communication going back and forth right now as we speak. Okay, we got the, we got the, eight, the eight of Wands with the Temperance card and the Queen of Swords reversed. That's communication going back and forth. And underneath it, okay, we got back and forth communication big time. Big time. Okay, I mean, it goes like this. Okay, that's back and forth. That's communication and that's back and forth so we definitely have somebody here that is communicating information back and forth and there's a lot of communication going back and forth okay um and we have somebody here that is not happy okay this is somebody that i feel is in a negative mindset this person is uh, pissed. You definitely have somebody and they have some information. So there's news that is coming that you are not going to want to hear. You are not going to want to hear. Somebody has been unfaithful. Okay. And the truth is going to come out. Um, I don't know if you met this person in February. February is very prominent. Okay. Um, Seizing a new opportunity. Somebody is going to be taking an opportunity. I feel like you're also dealing with a bully. This is somebody that is going to be taking an opportunity to get something. They want something. They, and they, they may even blackmail. They may even use blackmail. Nine of Wands reversed. Now, this is angry. This is somebody that is angry about all the life challenges. You know, this is angry about life. Okay? Um... Oh my God, Queen of Wands reversed on the bottom. We definitely have an individual here that is pissed. This person is pissed. They're jealous. They're jealous. They're angry. They're manipulative. They're vengeful. Very revengeful. This is evolution. This is some. This is going to cause your evolution. Something is going to happen. This person is hot very hot um another woman there's either another woman or another man that is involved there's 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 uh oh my god now i got the king of swords reverse this is a challenging abuse of power challenging information is coming news that you definitely don't want to hear and i'm sorry to say that i feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very self-righteous that you know, is nasty and is jealous because they were rejected and they're going to be causing some sort of uproar in your life. This person, um, it's like the decision was made and it didn't go in their favor. And now they're going to do something to anything, anything at all to cause havoc. This is somebody that you cannot trust. This is a distrustful person that is, it's, it's almost like this is heartbreaking. This person is so nasty. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a purpose. It does. I mean, that's the temperance card. It's a card of purpose and managing your feelings. There's a need to be grounded, but there's also a need to be fluid. Okay, you're going to be tested. You are going to, your patience is going to be tested. Your temper is going to be tested. You're going to need to remain in control of your feelings. You're definitely going to be uh, poked. Okay, you're going to be poked. You're going to be angered. I mean, some you're dealing with somebody that is unbalanced, okay, and they are not happy about a rejection. I don't know if this is a competitor or this is a, somebody that is highly competitive. Okay, this is the Queen of Wands reversed is definitely a competitor of some sort. This is somebody that is throwing a fit. Okay, they're hysterical. Okay, melodramatic, you know, so get prepared for that. Um, Maybe you've decided to open your heart or they have. Somebody has opened their heart to a new opportunity, okay? They followed their heart in a new direction. You know, they followed their gut. They followed their heart, and that's what causes this. Some sort of disgrace, embarrassment. Embarrassment. 
We have somebody here that's biting off more than they can chew. There could be, even be some addictions here. We may have somebody here that, I don't know if this is drugs or what. I mean, I don't know if somebody may be even dealing drugs. I want to say something about drugs, you know, and they get caught, they get called out, they get told on. Could even be a drug deal gone bad. There is definitely a woman here that is up to no good. She may be even working for somebody. She Maybe she's working for somebody undercover. Could just be a tattletale as well. Knight of Pentacles reverse, Three of Wands. Get prepared for an arrival. Get prepared for an arrival. Something is about to arrive. Maybe it could be a person. This is the, or or somebody's leaving. It's either an arrival or a departure. A definite decision is being made. There's going to be some movement. There's going to be travel. Somebody is going in a new direction. Absolutely. The Knight of Pentacles reverse though is somebody that is unfaithful. Somebody's been traveling somewhere. They've been going somewhere. Maybe when they're supposed to be at work. I don't know. Not really working. Somebody could also be losing a job or losing some sort of stability. There could be a departure from a job or losing a job. Um, there's definitely a bitch here. There is a bitch. There's no doubt about it. We definitely have a bitch here that's going to be wrecking some havoc on your life. Okay? And there's going to be, uh, there could be an arrival and a departure. But there, I feel like there's going to, there's been some sort of delay. Um, beginning to realize it's time to go. Somebody's going to be leaving. There's some sort of addictions here. Greed, lust, obsession, okay, toxic behavior. Um, I feel like there's addiction. For some of you, this is drugs. There's dr I feel, for, I want to say that there's drugs. Um, get prepared. Somebody's leaving. Somebody's leaving. They could be leaving in a police car. Just want to be honest. Um, because of a, a vindictive woman who is pissed. unfaithful jealousy there's a lot of jealousy here a lot get prepared for a change because your life is about to change there's going to be a relocation somebody is relocating they are they, I mean, and, you know they are going to be relocating there's no doubt about it they're going to be going somewhere taken down, taken down from their position. Somebody abused their power. They thought they get, got away with it, but they didn't because there's some sort of karma. This is karma. Everything happens for a reason. This is a card of cooperate. It's a card of cooperation, change, renewal after death. Good luck.